so that's the way it goes barely known from the start okay make me cry roll your eyes at me make me cry make me cry I'm feeling down not a sound from me you lost your way kissed away what was Lost your way. It's too late. All is done. same way never a surprise make me cry make me cry What a sight Where's the light From me Go Make me cry Save your sight Please Make me cry make me cry thank you welcome to the show meeting interesting people today my guest Bo Conismark um, who is a composer and DMA candidate at Heart Music School. So, welcome to the show. Thank you. Um, we put on the, um, our screen uh, your website, and then people can get the information um, in general. But uh, I would like to introduce to our viewers uh, a little history um, from your bio, like why music was is so important in your life and how it starts it's a big question for most people i would imagine but i'd say the earliest memory i have is waking up in the morning and my mom playing hymns on the piano 
and I wasn't really into music as much growing up uh, in my younger days, uh, although I did play piano and guitar and sing a lot, um, just in like church and youth programs and things like that. Uh, but sports was my main focus. Hmm. Uh, just loved athletics. Uh, but around about college time, 18, 19 years old, I started to fall in love with music much more because mm. I had taken a theory class mm -hmm. and it opened up my uh, perspective a lot more to see what was out there. And um, I kind of knew that my trajectory with sports, uh, particularly soccer, that was my main, mm. my main sport, was going to probably end. And even if I was fortunate enough to, to play at some kind of higher level, then that would also end. <laughs> quickly and I knew that music was something that I could put creativity in into um, in a similar way in, in a kind of a competitive and, and interesting and driven um, way so I'd say for about the last 20 years I've dedicated every day of my life to it whether it's learning new material um, to, to practicing my own abilities with, with writing and composing yeah, but how you become a composer? Well, I before I came to, I started at Berkeley mm -hmm. in in um, Massachusetts um, in 2016. Uh, my wife and I decided to move. I was teaching. So where you were born? Uh, Marietta, Georgia. Okay. Yeah, I lived there for 18 years, and I went to school in Tennessee for a soccer scholarship. Wow. Um, yeah, for four to five years. And yeah, like I said, I just I was there mo mostly for sports. That's what I cared about. But then I started to transition into music and spent a couple of years just creating on my own, mm -hmm. practicing on my own. And um, my wife and I decided to to get me that it would be good for me to go to music school. Mm -hmm. uh, so I did, and it was great. Mm -hmm. um, went to Berkeley for two years for an undergrad in composition, and then I got um, or I went to Tufts for a master's degree for two years. And now I'm at heart uh, studying for a DMA, and <laughs> it's great. It's it's I've been very fortunate, and it, one thing has just led to another. And so, and you got the award for one of your composition just in 2018. Mm. Which which one is that? <laughs> oh, maybe, I don't know. Maybe you got many, not just one. Uh, <laughs> I think, yeah, I mean, there's a, a competition that I became a semi-finalist for. Um, I'm also a semi-finalist semi for it now mm -hmm. um, called the American Prize. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, you, you submit your works uh, for various things, that, you know, that you feel are, are ready to go and, you know, people will want to perform more. So when you started composing, who was uh, more... Um influence you in in this uh, way in the composition it's pretty big and open mm -hmm. uh, i think i really love all the orchestral music that started developing out of video games oh. um, and then also you know film music that is i grew up watching like john williams and um land before time and just all the amazing uh Film scores, and then you know the songs that are that are written within them. Um, I, I enjoy all of that too. Hmm. So the first song you just uh, we start our interview. I see you wrote lyrics by yourself also, right? So what was the trigger for um, such a kind of mellow for one way and sad to another way of these lyrics? I try to make sure that if I'm going to write mm -hmm. a song, that I have some kind of lyrical mission. Mm -hmm. uh, if I'm going to compose my own text, um, I need to feel like something has happened and there's some kind of conflict. Mm -hmm. um, not, not necessarily a conflict, but there needs to be a reason why mm -hmm. I want to take the time to, to write a song, <clears throat> other than just putting together chords and harmony and melody and just doing things that I enjoy musically. Um, 
after getting words down that start to take meaning to me personally, that helps to also drive. So the lyrics come in first? They, not, not really. I think mm -hmm. what I would do is, yeah, I, at least at origin, I would sit there to myself and say, hmm, mm. this thing kind of bothered me a little bit, yeah. and I don't know how to process it mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily want to discuss it with anybody necessarily. Right. I don't, but I want to, I want to get it. Express myself. Express myself, exactly, um, to kind of f feel a sense of dignity about whatever I'm kind of struggling with. And make yourself free. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I meant about needing to, to have something that I, I really do want to mm -hmm. say. I don't know exactly what it is yet. Right. So yeah, I fumble around and I'm like, hmm, cool. I like the way these mm -hmm. little things. And then you get serious mm -hmm. about, mm -hmm. you know, putting down some structure. Mm -hmm. And then once there's some structure, mm -hmm. um, just, you know, some four bar phrases and some, you know, re repeating chord patterns, maybe change the place where you do mm -hmm. the same thing, but it's different sounds. Um, that all kind of informs this this ride that begins to 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 come about and um yeah so the words start to follow along but i went through i went through probably another five or six stanzas like this mm. of just i scratch them out mm. um, you I just see. keep kind of working out and mm -hmm. you say okay i like the way it's because you want to have a good structure you want to have good some good rhymes you don't want to be too obvious about things you, you want to have a, an honest way of, of saying what you want to say but, but it's not of all of your music has your own lyrics no no yeah, some yeah. some vocal music that I have composed is, yeah. is uses pre-existing text so in uh, mostly you do the vocal music or uh, I know you do the like chamber uh, and for me that piece I heard at Tufts years ago, um, it just for me was impression like it's a mini opera. Yeah. That's how I um, accepted uh, the way it was uh, performed on mm -hmm. the stage. So and then I know you create a new ensemble. Mm -hmm. So uh, can you talk about this a little bit? Yeah, the Into the Light Ensemble has been wonderful. Uh, like I said, as I started uh, attending Berkeley back in 2016, mm -hmm. uh, towards the end of my program, um, I was introduced uh, just to a whole group of, of wonderful musicians there and just started to, to create a network, uh, essentially. And um, as I went to Tufts, that was still in town, mm -hmm. um, you know, Medford. So yeah. it was nearby and a lot of the people that I still knew from Berkeley were still, I could still make contact with yeah, them. Connected, and then yeah. we could collaborate and do performances at Tufts and then you know, of course, with the pandemic coming, um, things were not quite as easy, collaboratively speaking. Mm -hmm. um, but still, you know, here in Massachusetts and still working with a lot of the same wonderful people yeah. and that has, has opened up much more than what I'm able to do with mm -hmm. what you've seen here. Yes. But from the opera, you know, dramatic side of being right. having fun and, and writing for the stage all the way to me writing a, a personal song um, to kind of just keep in my own suitcase. I, I like everything in between. Yeah, so, and I know you you just mentioned you're playing guitar, you're playing um, piano, and you're playing flute. So do you, um, like, polish all this mastering, all these instruments uh, with uh, certain teachers or just, again, by yourself? Mostly by self, and I wouldn't say master, but I would say like functional in certain <laughs> contexts. Are you modest? <laughs> uh, just um, before I moved to Massachusetts, yeah. I was working as a band director, right. a middle school band director, and I t taught myself as much as I could mm -hmm. uh, with with trumpet, um, flute. Uh, the the wind instruments, brass instruments, were easier to kind of get, get like. Um, basic techniques down mm -hmm. but I did you know work on um, some cello and violin and wow that's that'll take a lot longer to yeah. get any kind of grasp so do you, do you have time for any other hobbies and we know that you love soccer and you play and still right 
Oh, no. No. <laughs> Unfortunately, no. I have three daughters. Three My daughters. wife and I have three daughters together who are six. I know. Congratulations. The last one, just this recent one. Recent <laughs> one, yeah? Yeah, yes, yes. Um, but I guess, yeah, now almost seven, five, and two uh -huh. uh, in, in just two or three months. But that is basically my Take your time. hobby. <laughs> I see. To be a dad. So um, is the kids playing any music instruments? Not yet. They We try and not push oh. push it on them. Well, like you did yourself at 12, right, you said? Yeah. You know, it's it, it took... It was a different kind of journey, and it was not. I mean, I, I was enrolled in lessons when I was a kid, but I was not as as comfortable sitting down and reading music. Uh, so you said mom was playing him when you were little. So she she's a music teacher, or she never was. I mean, she was a teacher, elementary okay. school teacher, but she never. Um, she just was really serious about taking lessons for a while, mm -hmm. and just. Got pretty good on her own reading uh, So just, reading she, and just her who was playing, the dad is not a musician? No, my, my dad, it, it's funny, he has a very a very pretty sounding singing voice, oh. uh, but my mom says he, he can't like stay in tune or can't follow. <laughs> oh, she's you know. just crazy size. <laughs> I see. So the, the girls are singing maybe, right? Your daughters. Oh, singing and dancing with all of their hearts, yes. So are you writing music for children? No. Oh. Really? No. Oh, you should write. I have. Yeah, you're not the first to, to bring that up. Actually, some of my Into the Light friends uh -huh. uh, said I should write yeah. an opera right. uh, for, for kids. Right. <laughs> uh, well, unfortunately, um, Massachusetts doesn't have a children's theater or children's opera. I mean, they have some Willock Theater where kids performing, um, but not the opera. Not, not the opera. I mean, some uh, some groups were performing some operas. I think it was a combination of adults and kids. So, yeah. Um, well, we I think we're giving a lot of hope for uh, parents and kids. Like like you said, you were involved much in sport, and all of a sudden you turned to music. And uh, we in a century when the music is very important, and to be a creator is more important. Um, I mean, you need to be a healthy person for sure. And so the sport is full help, but mm. the music, and I like that the schools here in the States, they have this musical program and orchestras and bands, mm -hmm. which is very nice also. So, um, well, you know, um, I think we were uh, talking about mostly about everything, what I would like to know, and, and um, uh, our viewers will be interested. So if you want to add something, um, so it will be uh, interesting to our viewers we can do that but if not we we uh, have a good time i hope <laughs> yeah sure i could just say a, a parting thought and that because you know in driving over here i you know thinking to myself and considering lots of days before this the question that continues is why are you doing this mm -hmm. why do you compose why do you make music and you know, I ask myself that when I'm sitting in my kitchen writing down these words that I wonder if it's ever going to mean anything to anybody mm. at some point. But, you know, it's just, it's a journey and it's one, it it's one foot in front of the other and it's learning new skill sets that essentially help to expand one's own abilities, uh, whether it be from a health perspective, from an intellectual perspective, artistic, all of those things. But the, one of the biggest things, and as you had, had said about Into the Light, is the ability to uh, to create chemistry yep. with people and how music uh, can, can bring people together um, as an ensemble. It can, as a group of friends say it, who, you know, want to to work hard toward a goal together and and the goal is into the light yeah yeah to stay stay in the light yeah. and especially during a time like we've been facing it's not that's not an easy thing and you get a lot of these and i there have not been as many opportunities to go out onto the stage but you know there's the music is it's alive and it's there it every day it and is. there's not always moments when I'm I'm right on it um, with anything whether it's like grueling score editing or if I just want to like be very lyrical and sing um, maybe it's not there on one day but it is it's still you know 
it's still available. Yes. <laughs> That's part of the reasons, well, one of the reasons why I love it so much. And as I said, it's, you know, I, I, hopefully I can still swing a tennis racket when <laughs> I'm older, but you know, I'm definitely hoping I'll still be playing and singing for all of my life. Well, thank you so much for coming and thank you for sharing your talents. Thank and you. I hope the viewers will be following your website and uh, listening to the concerts uh, right now, maybe only in recording, but maybe in future on the stages. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you, you so much.